That's right. That's right. We all walking around worrying and well doing, worrying about this, worrying about that. God wants us to come to Him so we can get closer. That's in right. His Word. His Word. His Word. And hey, Brother Land, Deacon Land said, open up the gates. Yes. Yes. Of God. A lot of y'all probably didn't get it, but I got it. Amen. Amen. That was a beautiful rap. Brother Land. Open up the gate, Jesus. Amen. Let me in. Amen. Jesus. My God, I want to go in too. Yes. Right, I do. Yes. You all want to go in the gate, right? Yes. 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 The Spirit of the living God. Yes. God is so awesome. Yes, He is. He's so beautiful. Yes. yes. Then I heard they sang in the bar. He sent down his begotten son, Jesus. Jesus. Just for us. He sent him down for us. He didn't have to send Jesus down. He could have came down and blew up the whole earth. Cause all he had to do is step on him. He would have blew it all up. That's how powerful God is. Hallelujah. He's a powerful God. 
And he's off. And he wants us to stay in this word. Because his word encourages us. I love that song in your word. Sister, you sang that song so beautiful. Yes, he does. Yeah. Amen. I see CDs. I see CDs. I'm serious. You think I'm dry, but I see CDs. Amen. I see you preaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's word. Yeah. Because God is the awesome God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And he's mine. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He said, call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you all. Thank you. And thank you. Daniel, God is my strength and my power, and he makes my way perfect. See, the word of God makes our way perfect. Yes. God said he made man and woman the image of him. We are beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. We got to come into the knowledge of God. See, when uh -huh. we come into the knowledge of God, we get more beautiful and more beautiful. That's what my prayer. I said, Lord, make me beautiful. Make me beautiful like you, Lord. Because yes, God sir. is so beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When God make you beautiful, your heart be so pure. You will love people. You will try to bring them in. Even on your job, you will try to bring people in. Because when you walk in the knowledge of God and get more God, you can't. You can't help but tell somebody about Jesus. Yes, yes. amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You can't help but tell people about Jesus. The more closer you get with God, the more you get into his presence, the more you get into his word, the more he shapes and molds you. Why well, I said make you beautiful, Lord. Because when you put the gold inside the fire, and the gold be going and burning and burning and burning. And when they bring the gold out, the gold come out so beautiful. So yes. when he put us through that fire, he takes stuff off of us. Yes. He takes this off of us. Yes. Sometimes he takes us out of that comfort zone. Sometimes you think, man, what's, come, what's coming at me? What's this? What's that? What's this? Why is this coming at me? Why that? Because God is taking some stuff off of you. Thank you, Jesus. He's taking some stuff because he's making you beautiful. He's making you beautiful. Then when people see you, they say, man. That is a beautiful person. They stare at you thinking they mad. Why are they looking at me like that? Why are they looking at me? Thank you, Jesus. Don't you know the little children know God? I be saying, when I be into the presence of the Lord and I go to the grocery store and I see little kids, they just be staring at you. And their mom says, stop looking at him. Stop looking at him. They be staring at you because they see the light on you. That's why they be stared. The light of God. See, God is so awesome. Yes, He is. And He's so beautiful. That's right. The more you get closer to Him, the more you humble yourself, the more you bow down to Him, the more closer you get to Him. And you got to bow down. You can't lean on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the sun will be coming to your head. Man, it's time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. But that's the lie from the devil. Amen, amen. Hmm, amen. Pastor, if you were making $18 an hour, would you go back down to $6 an hour? Mm -mm. No, I'm talking about if you had to. I'm talking about if you didn't have to. So if you were a pastor, you don't go back down to the private, do you? You a pastor, you don't go back down, do you? You go back up. You're higher. That's what God is doing. He's taking us higher. Amen, amen, amen. amen. The more you get into his presence, the more you glorify. Amen. Him. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't go to the left. Don't go to the right. You said he will put 10,000 to your left and 5,000 to your right. You just got to stand in the mighty God. You just got to stand in the mighty God. You stand in the mighty God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's why you calling you little children. 
Those of you who don't like them attending in the church. They the future. Amen, amen, amen. Go in the back. Go in the back. Go in the back. Go in the back. Don't hear the word. Go in the back. They don't want the kids to hear the word. See, the word of God is for them too. So when they get into some stuff, they get into stuff out there. They remember what the word of God said. Call up on them in the day of trouble. Amen. They remember what they passed is going through. They are laying their hands on their parents. They dad, he said they'd be singing around the table, right. singing about the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ain't that so blessed? Amen. When Amen. The parents hear their kids singing about the Lord. Mm. They said, Man, I should be going to church. Amen. <laughs> My little kids singing around me. <laughs> I should be praising God. I should be teaching them, but they teaching me. Yeah. yeah. Right. They teaching me to come back. Yeah. Amen. That's why it's so beautiful to have kids in here. Yes, yes. The, I'm saying the same song over and over in that chick plan. They say, man, bitch, you're playing this tape again. I wanted to get it now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. They be saying, they singing that song. <laughs> they, and they got to be Unless I touch it, it'll play that song. If I don't touch it, it'll play that song over and over. I said, look at God. I said, look at God. Hallelujah. See, I love the little children. See, that pastor, we love the little children, man. We started off with little children. Amen. We started off with little children. Man, we got to start one time. You know, I said, don't worry about it, pastor. Bible said the two or three got in his name in the mix. I said, okay. <laughs> Let's go have some church. Amen. Let's go have some church. And it was a real boy. Yeah, they were real little. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He is a blessing to raise them up in the Lord. That's right. Because so one right. day, you don't, spread, you don't spread the gospel to them, teaching them. 
And one day you might see them on TV years ago, then they might be bishop or pastor, they then walk up to you and say, thank you, thank you for sharing that word, for being patient with me, and sharing love with me. Amen, hallelujah. And everybody said, oh, that's a bad little kid right there. Don't you know God used that bad little kid to use that good little kid? Amen. Let's preach, preach, preach. Because that bad little kid is a miracle. Amen. So when God turned him around, everybody going to say, man, you was bad. And you believe in the God who is bad. speaking life on you. Be good. Because God's going to use y'all in a powerful way. He's going to use you for your mother and father. He's going to use you for your auntie. He's going to use you in a mighty way to bring your family in. Because the Bible says once one person be saved, the whole household be saved. But you got to be saved. You can't go in the house praising God and cussing everybody else out of the house. And they said, hey, Dad, you want to come to Jesus? You just cuss everybody else out. Amen, amen, amen. When they see the light on it, you just, yes, ma'am. Amen, yes, amen. ma'am. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And they see that, and they see the change on you. Because the Bible said, treat your parents. We got to treat our parents good. Honor our parents. Yes. We got to honor our parents. That's right, that's right. That's no matter right. what they say to us, what they do, we got the honor of mother, we got the honor of father. Sometimes you say, you look at the background and this, how you gonna tell me what to do? Mm, Jesus. Because your parents got a lot of wisdom. Yes. That's right. And authority. Uh-huh. Authority. And authority. Because my dad had big authority. <laughs> When I was walking down the street with 200 clips, <laughs> my daddy pulled up on his line. Get the van. I got to see y'all hold it on the seat. Oh, homie, what's up, man? Man, that's my dad. My dad stand this big. And he had a big old giant cowboy. That's where Rupert was in. He had a big old cowboy in there. Yeah. See, back in the day, they tell us to go get you a switch. And don't go back with a small switch. <laughs> go out there and get your switch. I used to run by the switch. I'd be like, Daddy, bro, whoop off, I was gone. We got home, we got an extra whoop. Excellent. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus. Big respect back in the days. Because the whole neighborhood would watch you. You go down the street, you get a whooping down the street, and come back home and get another one. Yeah. <laughs> the whole neighborhood was your family. Nowadays, people, don't touch my kid. Shut the you. You told my kid something. What? What's wrong? You can't tell my kid nothing. Oh, okay. You ain't I telling them nothing. Tell nobody. I and then when the kids raise up on them, mm-hmm. penitentiary stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's what these kids nowadays, they think they tough. Mm-hmm. And they ain't seen no tough. <laughs> when you go to that pen, there's some tough brothers in there. When I was walking down the highway, I seen a Japanese guy laying on the ground with a pipe stuck in the middle of his head, blood shooting out like a rainbow. Have mercy. Jesus. Everybody said that Japanese knew karate, but somebody knew killing. Yeah. They stabbed at that Japanese in the head with a big old giant pipe. Jesus. See, in that place, it's craziness. Amen. Amen. People have nothing else to do but kill. People have nothing else to do. That's why we got to train our child up in the Word. 
Amen. I know, parents, y'all are doing a wonderful thing. But see, when you do a wonderful thing and don't raise them up in the Lord, the world can take them away. Yeah. But see, if you give them the word of God when they're little and keep giving them the word of God, he says, they depart, they will come back. Because when the devil got them against the wall, beating them down, Beating them down, they know who to call. A call up on the Lord in the day of trouble. Amen, amen, amen. Lord, you said in the way that you stand. Lord, you said in the way that you will never leave me. Lord, you said in the way, Lord, I need you right now. Lord, 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 If your kid fall away, sometimes God allows you to go out there for a minute to see what the devil is doing. So when he bring them back, like he brought Peter and all of them back, said, Matthew, it's time for you to come out. Peter, it's time for you to come out. Because we were chosen before the foundation of the world. See, God knew I was going to get into game. Because he said he know every hair on my head. He can come with my stuff. Come on now. Yes. See, God knew I was going to get on drugs. God knew I was going to get on me. God knew I was going to get on drinks. And God said, daughter, it's time for you to come out. Gave me wisdom. I'm not going into the dope house and pray for no food. <laughs> yeah. I said, put everybody on the speakerphone. I'm going to pray for them right here. 